All right, Mike, so we just saw Heroes Reborn Gemini on PC from Imperative Entertainment. Uh, time puzzle fighting game. What'd you think about it? Yeah, so it's kind of combining combat, platforming, and I guess somewhat puzzle solving. Um, but basically, yeah, you can, can go between two time periods and use that in stealth sequences and just all out combat. You can reverse bullets. There are, it seems like it's open for experimentation, at least in so far as the demo I played was. So we have been talking about Quantum Break a lot, but this seems like it's actually trying to do sort of new things with time. Yeah, it seemed to be much more of a sandbox than Quantum Break. Because I remember when we first saw Quantum Break, the, the first trailer that they showed, I, I thought it was going to be more of an investigation game. And then later trailers we saw, they were just basically cutscenes. Whereas Heroes Reborn actually seems to be mostly about investigation of these scenes and um, the combat occurs, you know, when you are, for example, in the demo that we saw, when you're trying to basically chase somebody who was kidnapped in another time and you're warping between that time and this time trying to figure out what happened to him and then having those like really fun unreal physics based fights in between. Yeah, you we're pretty much bouncing back and forth between these two time periods. One was uh, like kind of more modern and it's just dilapidated facility but then you just press a button and you go back to it like several decades before that and it's still you know a functioning facility and you can kind of use this during combat so you come into this room and there's a bunch of guards and you don't know how you're going to take them out so you can kind of peek through these like tears almost and see where the people are in the future time period go back to the past and then come back grab them pull them back you can kind of separate them if you wanted to you could isolate all of them in the past if you wanted to you can use telekinesis that's how you're picking these people up and as long as you don't hold on to them for too long they're kind of helpless and this also leads to these points where you can kind of warp into the new time period, grab someone, put them next to an electrical box so they're just getting shocked while everybody else kind of watches, escape back to the past. And from what I played, it didn't seem like it was too challenging. I mean, it was a power fantasy in the sense that I was the only one with power. It seemed like everybody else was kind of shooting these maybe like 22 caliber guns that didn't really hurt me that much. I could slow down time and stop the bullets and reverse them back at the people. You know, and then you start encountering like harder guards that kind of have wrist rockets and take a lot more damage and have smaller weak spots on their backs. But we kind of found ourselves wishing that they could chase you across the time periods because it essentially, as long as you're not getting punched in the face repeatedly, it's a get out of jail free card. All I had to do if I got in any trouble was press like LB and I would go back to the past or to the future where the guards weren't. So we were saying, we would like more puzzles where there are guards in both time periods because even then, picking up a guard in the past, warping to the future with him, and then isolating them all in the future, that's still pretty compelling because then you're just saying, okay, I'm going to create this safe space in case I need to back out. But from what we played, there wasn't really much of that. So it just became this, oh my god, I'm in trouble. Let's get the f out of here. I'm safe for a while. I can just take my time and do whatever I want. Final thoughts. I did enjoy the combat in this game just because I like it when a developer is willing to give people a set of tools and then risk things going wrong in their game with a physics-like sandbox. Yeah, I think history, if there's anything it's taught us in video games, that licensed games are not the safest bet. And I think going into it, that was my expectation. And right now, it's not doing a ton to impress me. Although, like you said, I do appreciate it's letting me improvise and it's letting me experiment because it's those free-form emergent scenarios that I'm really looking forward to if they can kind of capitalize on that. But right now, I just guess time will tell, because like you said, Quantum Break is going to be the one we want to go to if we want this really good story, hopefully, and this kind of, you know, finely crafted narrative. Right now, Heroes, its driving force to me is that experimentation, so I'm hoping that just is, becomes a thread throughout the entire game. I gotta be honest, ragdolling guards throughout the demo we saw never got old. <laughs> <laughs>